Hello pumpkin people, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kristen and this is my channel Harvest and Holly. On my channel I talk about decorating for the fall season and holidays and Christmas and winter and how to keep that really cozy ambiance that the fall and the winter time bring into our homes all year round in your home. So I don't really do the decorating for spring and summer and the other little like cutesy kind of holidays. It's not really my style. I really like my home to be I don't know, like more sophisticated, cozy, welcoming, laid back, all at the same time. So if that sounds good to you and you're really more of a cozy season kind of a person, then this is definitely the channel for you and I hope you consider subscribing before you head out. Today I have a part two to my winter decor haul and you'll have to excuse the background. Um, I am taking down Christmas today, that's what I've been doing all day and I just stopped to film this haul video. Today is either January 7th or 8th or 9th. I don't know, it's a Sunday. It's a little bit late, I guess, to have my tree up. This is probably the latest that I've kept it up, but I'm finally at a place where it doesn't feel so sad to take it down, I think, because I've got a nice collection of new things to decorate with and fill my space with. So I am excited to kind of play around with these things and get the house set up for winter. For me, winter decor is a lot of really good everyday pieces and then sprinkling in some touches like pine cones or pine or um, dried floral that really kind of lend themselves to the winter season. So let me know if you guys want a winter home tour or a winter decorating video, I'd be happy to do that. But let me get into this haul. I have my local antique mall, H&M Home, Amazon, and then I am going to save just two little Christmas items for the end of the video. I was at my at-home store and they have a lot of Christmas left even though we're a week past New Year's Day. So um, I grabbed a couple things on sale that I had been eyeing and I'm so happy that I was able to get them on sale. So I'll just save that towards the end of the video in case you're way over Christmas. So let's get started with the antique stuff. Now my antique mall is essentially a Costco sized glorified Goodwill. It is not like filled with, I mean, there are tons of treasures, but there's a lot of like little knickknacks and glassware and things that I just would never purchase. I see other people's antique stores and they have like a really awesome primitive section with the cutting boards and stools and paper mache bowls and old vessels. That is very difficult to find at my antique store. It probably exists all throughout the store, but it's so big that it's it's hard to find. But I did find this cutting board. It's definitely not primitive, but I just wanted a couple cutting boards to decorate with because I just, I love the way they look in a kitchen and I do have cutting boards already to like actually use functionally, but I just wanted a few decorative ones and you can't get cheaper than $5 for this one at my antique mall. So it is really tacky on one side. It has this painting of like cheese maybe and bread. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to display it on this side. And yeah, so like I said, I think this was around $5. It was really cheap and it's a good size and solid wood. Now I would say that this is probably a primitive item and I was really excited to find it and it is this little wooden bowl. I don't know, the wood on this looks pretty good, but there is some um, damage to it and it was labeled as a vintage. They take the tags off, by the way, so I don't have the exact tags anymore, but. It was labeled as a vintage or a primitive water scoop. So that makes me feel like it must be pretty old, even though the wood is pretty nice still on it, but it just looks like this with the little handle. I feel like this spot here is so that your thumb could be comfortable as you scooped whatever you were scooping. And I thought this would be really cute on my entryway table as a place to drop our keys. And I think this was $16, so it wasn't super, super cheap. And I did actually see this one other time at my antique store and considered getting it, but I thought the price was a little high. But I have been shopping for wood bowls. I just hauled one in my last video, and I'll link that video down below if you wanna check it out. And that's kind of the going rate for a wood bowl is around $15. So to get a vintage one at that price is pretty good. So I decided to snag this one this time. Last thing, and actually I wanted to say as much as I can link down below, I will for you guys as far as what I'm hauling after the antique mall, but I can't really link the antique items or vintage items obviously, but 
If anything else that I show you later in the video is available, I will link that. But this is my favorite find from the antique mall. And it is this short little chubby pitcher. It is so beautiful. It's like a tan color. And up close, I don't know if the, the color will come across on camera, but these are a dark blue, very dark, beautiful blue. Um, but at a distance, it looks black. So even though I don't really decorate with too much blue, I feel like this just, it'll go with anything. And I think it's such a beautiful piece that it can just stand alone. It doesn't really need anything in it or next to it, but it would be really pretty with some flowers in it. I feel like this is that perfect vintage piece. You know, when you go thrifting or to your antique mall and you pick up things and you're like, yeah, that's kind of the look I was going for, but not quite. To me, this is like that perfect, this is exactly what I would pick out from any other store. I love it. So I'm so excited with this and I think it was around $18. Okay, so let's move on to hmhome.com. I don't have, well, I do have an H&M near me, but they don't have a home section. And I sometimes browse the H&M website, but I, I don't know, I don't know why I don't shop there more. And you guys should definitely check it out if you also haven't really shopped there because they have really affordable pieces and they are very nice. And just a really kind of unique selection compared to what we see at a lot of the other stores. So I just got two things. The first is this, um, they called this a flower pot, I believe. And this was so cheap, it was like $10. And I don't know if it was a clearance item, and so that's why it was so cheap, or if it was just on sale that day. But like I said, I'll try to link these items. It's a decent size, it has the little handles, and it's really wide, so you could put a plant in here for sure but I thought it would just be pretty on its own. I may end up putting a plant in here or putting some florals in here. And it's kind of like a brownish black color, more of a matte finish. So I really love this. I've been looking for something like this at an affordable price point. So H&M definitely had some options. And I apologize if you hear something in the background, it's actually my heat kicking on. Um, but the other thing that I got from H&M Home is this pot so it is a little bit different than the first one this one is a little bit bigger it's a little bit darker or maybe it's just shinier let's see it appears a little bit darker but it's a shinier finish it also has the little handles and this one was around $13 and this is the um, dried baby's breath that I hauled in my last video but I, I love these. I actually thought they were kind of like a set that was meant to go together, but then when they got to me, I saw that they are actually a little bit different. So yeah, I think this looks really pretty with the baby's breath in it. And this is actually sitting on my coffee table. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna stay there. There are so many places that I would like to put either one of these pots. So I definitely am happy that I grabbed them. Okay, moving on to Amazon, I'm gonna share like my least exciting find first, but I feel like this is a good one. And it is this pack of dish towels that you get 12 in and it was only $16. Now, first of all, let me say, the price fluctuations on Amazon are real. As I was linking all the Amazon items from my last video, I was like, what? The price went up on literally everything that I was talking about pricing, how much I bought it for. So whenever you see a YouTuber talk about Amazon items and how much they cost, just know they're not trying to lie to you. Just Amazon jacks up the prices or brings them down randomly. So um, these were $16 when I purchased them. And I did the math that comes out to like $1.35 or something, a towel, which is just a few cents more than the Dollar Tree now that they raise their prices. And these feel better quality. I just particularly love the look of this plaid. It's like the brown stripe, just a simple plaid, but it has this dot detail that makes it just a little bit special. And yeah, it's just a dish towel, but I love when like the little things like this that people don't necessarily see all the time in your home. I love when they're pretty anyway, just for you. It makes your home feel like it's a little bit more luxurious and special, but I will hang these probably off of my stove. So you get six of this kind and then six of the brown color, which clearly I like brown. I'm, a, I'm definitely into the brown color for decorating. And 
the brown probably won't show stains that badly, so that's uh, an upside to this color. So that is the first thing from Amazon. Also, you guys, if the camera like wobbles or shakes at any point, I apologize. I did get this new tripod to hold my phone that has like a ring light around it. And the phone is held by this like little coil that seems to kind of wobble a little bit as, as you touch your phone. So I apologize if any of that is happening. If that is happening as I'm editing the video and I notice that, I will definitely make sure to correct that in my next video. It's just kind of hard to see with this light in my face. But the next thing from Amazon that I got is this wall mounted coat rack or hooks, I guess. And this was $30 off of Amazon. We desperately need something like this in our entryway. Our coat closet is this big. And we have no storage in this house. All of our closets are this big. We live in a 50s, like mid-century modern ranch. And if you live in an old home, you know most old homes don't have big storage spaces. So right now, with it being winter and it's finally cold here, it's usually colder way earlier than this, but there's like literally 50 coats hanging all over the chairs on my kitchen table. It's so annoying. So I definitely wanted something like this. And you can see it would hang like this would be flush against the wall and they stick out like this. This was, did I already say this was $30 on Amazon? And I love the color of it. I love that this feels like organic and earthy, but modern at the same time with the like shape, how it, how it is, the shape of it. Why was that hard to get out? That shouldn't have been hard to get out. But anyways, I'm gonna get this hung up in our entryway or I'll have my husband do it in the next few days to save me my sanity because again, there are literal coats all over the place because they do not fit in our coat closet. Okay, so next up and last from Amazon, and I have not seen anybody else talk about this book, uh, and I think it's amazing. I'm obsessed with this. It's called Resident Dog, and it is a book about architecture and interior design, but in the photos, um, it's just like any other home decorating book that just shows beautiful images of like amazing homes. But in the photos, it shows the dogs that live in these spaces, which I think is such a cool concept because whenever I'm looking through amazing home decor books or like Pinterest images, I constantly, constantly am saying to myself, oh, they must not have pets, but this book is proof that they do. So um, in the inside, the images are like this and it shows the dogs in almost all of the images. This is probably my favorite one from the book. It's this dog laying upside down in front of this awesome kitchen island or buffet or something like that. But the introduction will say the residence of Rosie, that's the dog's name. She's a Cavapoo, the architect's name and the location. And if there's an interior designer, it will say the interior designer's um, name as well. And then it's just some information about the dog. So it's such a cute book, but it looks so sophisticated. This is like a real conversation starter if you have this out on your coffee table. And I feel like this would make a really nice gift for somebody who's into home decorating and architecture, but also loves their dog. So love this book. This was on the pricier side. It says the retail value is $50. I think I got it for, I definitely got it for under that on Amazon. So I'll link it down below for you guys. And there, this is volume two. There is volume one, but I was reading the reviews of volume one and somebody was complaining that there were not rescue dogs, which was kind of, I don't know if that's a silly reason to not buy the book, but this one does have rescue dogs and mixed breed dogs. So um, I was happy to see that in this book because we do have one dog from a breeder and we have one dog who was a rescue. So we definitely love both, but I have a, a super soft spot for dogs that need to be rescued. So anyways, that's it for the just like winter home decor. Like I said, I do have a couple items from the at home store. I'll actually insert a picture or a couple pictures that I took of how much is left at my at home store. A lot of it is ornaments. There were a few like decorative items, but it was mostly ornaments. There was one ornament there that was so beautiful. I actually had been eyeing it and hoping that I would get it on sale, but they only had one left here at my at home store. So I left it behind because I do like to buy my ornaments in multiples usually, but I was actually eyeing these and they had tons of them left. 
So the first one is this one and it was $3.99. It looks very vintage to me. Um, it has like the frosted kind of floral print almost. And then the etching on it is almost like it's amber glass. It's just paint in there, but these are really pretty and they were only $3.99. So these were on sale for $2 a piece. And I definitely want to fill up a bowl with these next year or put them on my tree. I don't know. I love the idea of them in a bowl. I think they look so pretty in, in a bowl, but they also would look really pretty on the tree. And then the other one that I got kind of matches and it's this one. So this one's a little bit bigger, um, but this one has etching. It's kind of hard to see with the ring light shining on it, but it has etching like a floral print and a bit of gold detailing. For some reason, this one was $5, even though it's smaller and not as heavy as this one. Maybe it's the gold detailing on it, but these were $2.50 with the sale. And I bought four of each, which is bizarre. Um, this one only had four left, but then I got four of these. I should have gotten a couple more. But anyways, as you can see, they look so pretty together. Here's kind of what they would look like in a bowl. I was thinking like a big bowl with greens in these and it would be really pretty. And yeah, I went to my Joann's. I'm not gonna show you guys what I got, but I just got some paper plates and some leftover ribbon and stuff like that from there. And it seems like a few stores around me still have a lot of Christmas left. I didn't actually go like the day or two after Christmas and try to find like everything on sale. I just kind of was like, if I go in my own time and what I want is still left, then that's a sign to get it. But if it flies off the shelves, it wasn't meant for me. So um, I was happy with a few things that I picked up. Lord knows I don't need any more Christmas decorations. Okay, so that is it for this haul video. I hope that you guys loved it. Again, let me know if you want to see a winter home tour from me. A lot of you said that you did want to see a video on how to grow the pumpkins for your garden when we get closer to that time. So I will be doing that. So are you guys just interested in the pumpkins or do you also want to know a little bit about my fall cutting garden with flowers? They're all easy flowers or most of them. I have one that's finicky, but besides that, they're all easy. Um, basically just like throw the seeds at the ground, water them and watch them grow into beautiful flowers that you can cut and bring into your home. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. I have a huge order of seeds that's coming to me. It's en route to me right now. Um, so I could talk about that in the meantime as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much again for spending time with me. I know you could be on anybody else's channel, but you are here with me and that means the world to me. I love you, my pumpkin people, and I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.